Assalamu alaikum guys. Hope everybody will be fine. Today in this short practical video, I will guide you for steel reinforcement details for floor beam as well as for RCC slab. So let's get start guys. As you can see guys, this is floor beam which width is 12 inches, depth is 18 inches. This is designed for three-story commercial building. Guys, you can see we have three steel rods at the bottom, three at the top dia is 20 millimeter and two we have extra steel rods to the distance of l by 4 which dia is 16 millimeter guys you can see the stirrups dia is 8 millimeter spacing you can see which are 3 to 4 inches hooks you can see which are bent on 135 degree so according to steel structural drawing design of this beam is okay Guys, you can see clearly the spacing is to the distance of L by 4, which is 3 inches. After 3 inches, after L by 4, we have the spacing from 4 to 5 inches. Only one problem, guys, you can see. Hooks are provided, uh, hooks should be provided alternately. But guys, here you can see they provided on the same direction. Look here, guys. All hooks are provided on one side. So this is not okay. So hook should be provided alternately. Guys, you can see the labors. They are fixing the double mesh on the top of this single mesh. Now the spacing of main bars distribution bars will be 4.5 by 4.5 inches. Dia is 12 millimeter for both distribution bars and main bars. Guys, you can see to the, dist to the distance of L by 4, we have also extra steel rod at top portion. Also, you can see guys side bars. Dia is 16 millimeter. Spacing of stirrups, guys, you can see. Now, the depth of this beam is decreasing due to this ramp. Ramp is going to construct for basement, especially for car parking area. Guys, you can see. Here, the span between two columns is 22 feet. More students they are asking sir what is the correct way of steel reinforcement for floor beam or for slab. So guys this is the correct way. Only one problem you can see hooks are provided on the same direction on one side. So this is only you can say a small mistake but it should be provided alternately now everything is okay guys you can see there before this double mesh they provided singly mesh which spacing was for main bars distribution bars 9 by 9 inches on the top of that they provided Second mesh, as you can see guys, the labor are fixing the double mesh on the top of single. Now the spacing is 4.5 by 4.5 inches to give you good strength. Guys, you can see the span between two columns is here, 24 feet. The other span is 22 feet. Guys, you can see clearly. Here guys you can see this is floor beam for simply support it. On the top of this they are providing extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment. Depth is same, width is also same, 12 by 18 inches. Stirrup spacing is from 5 to 6 inches at the middle, at the end of the support where we have negative bending moment. We have three inches as you can see guys they did not provide development length so this is also a big mistake so they should provide development length because this is the end of the beam you can see guys they did not provide it the extra steel rods length is l by four where l is length between two column or span between two columns This type of practical video can help you if you are working on construction site or if you are student. Hope this video can help you.
Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.